First of all, we wanted to thank you uh, all for being here today, right? I think it was quite a success and we had quite a turnout. So thank you. And as, as we were um, thinking back about the journey we, we did with Helium Con, uh, we just started a year ago, right? The first Helium Con was in Amsterdam last year. And at the time, we didn't know how successful the event was going to be. And imagine our surprise when we submitted for only half a day and we asked people for submissions. And we were reviewing the submissions and we had 28 submissions. It was very tough for us because we only had a few slots. And so we did uh, Chicago in, in, in the fall and we had a submission, we had a full day. And we didn't know if the um, momentum was going was to keep. And as you can see, for this one, uh, we had more than 60 submissions and only, uh, we could only have uh, time and, and, and slots for 11 talks. So, of course, we'll try and make it work also uh, uh, in, in North America uh, in, uh, at the end of the year. Don't hesitate to submit talks uh, and, and make it a great event again. Something we wanted to mention is uh, the program committee today is around five, six person. And if you're interested in uh, contributing to the committee, please reach out to us. It's always great to have people with different backgrounds from different companies to give us insight into what's interesting and what could be of interest to the community. Of course, uh, this event wouldn't have been possible with our sponsors, so please, uh, we want to, to thank them. So first of all, Solo, thank you. <laughs> and Isobed and our second uh, diamond sponsor. As a reminder, uh, this Cilium certification is available, right? It's, it's GA, so, and you can get a discount on it. And there are a lot of other uh, Cilium talks at KubeCon, so I think it's 11, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a full list here. So great. Um, just to kind of recap, so what did we learn today? We saw deep dive into how Cilium works. We saw some demos of how Cilium works and also doesn't work and what to do when that happens. We saw how Cilium is deployed on hundreds of clusters in thousands of locations around the world and the way this brings benefits to end users in production today. We saw how Cilium is going to Windows and also how it's moving up the networking stack to replace Istio. So where are we going in the future? We talked about connecting cloud native in the um, beginning of the day, and now let's close with how we're gonna defend the future. Security is a very hot topic right now in the cloud native and really the computing industry as a whole, and Cilium brings a lot to the table with this in th terms of things like uh, network policy, encryption, and mutual authentication. And if you missed the talk earlier or haven't heard about it yet, also be sure to check out Tetragon, uh, which is the eBPF runtime security observability and enforcement tool. Um, there's going to be some great talks about it later in the week, too. And I think this is going to be almost ready for its own conference pretty soon, too. If you were inspired by what you heard today, uh, you have some ideas about how the project can be improved, or like Laurent said, want to get involved in the program committee. There's lots of ways to get involved in the community, and we'd love to have you be a part of it. Uh, the Cilium Contributor Ladder lays out a lot of great ways to get to start, or feel free to talk to me. Uh, I'm available on Slack, Twitter, email, GitHub, LinkedIn, tw uh, I already said Twitter. Uh, you can send smoke signals too if you want, you know, whatever it takes, or talk to me afterwards. Uh, another great way to connect with the community and to share your idea is there's a weekly developer meeting on Wednesdays. Uh, we would love to see you there too. So with that, thanks everyone for coming today. Uh, it's been really wonderful seeing all the different ideas, topics, suggestions, and talks from the community. Um, it's been great, and thank you for coming to Cilium and eBPF Day EU 2024.